All right, y'all, so in this video, we're gonna be going over a few things, just all about the Fujifilm X100V. I'm gonna go over all the accessories I have for it, how I have it set up with all the buttons and dials. And then I'm also gonna be showing you guys how I go on the motorcycle with it. I don't have to keep digging the camera out of the bag or anything like that, it just be on my hip at all times. Also doing a giveaway to note with a couple of the brands from these accessories. So we'll be giving away one of these thumb rests and also a skin. So stay tuned to figure out how to enter that. But first, I'm gonna gear up and hop on my bike and go over that stuff, and then we'll go over everything else. Right, so for my setup, I have everything pre-dialed in. I actually use my front dial for the shutter speed. And I usually just keep the lens at uh, just F2 and then my ISO is at 640 all time. So I honestly use this pretty much like a film camera. with a couple of companies and so we'll be doing a giveaway of the thumb rest and also the skin all you have to do is comment and like on this video and subscribe to my channel obviously and then share the video so when i come to choose the two winners again one's going to get this one's going to get a free skin whoever wins uh you just have to show me proof that you shared it and everything but uh yeah now let's get into the rest of this stuff let me just talk about how i ride with this camera obviously i have a filter on here for my simulation so it's not that big of a deal that's just dangling off of here i do have my lens cap in here though but yeah this is the hold fast money maker it, it crosses in the, in the back back here and then if you wanted to you're able to put a second camera on here i've been contemplating putting the komodo on here i haven't tested all that out yet but um it just simply slides up you could use a camera strap but it's kind of hard sometimes if you have jackets on or a bag it gets caught so this thing just has a slider so you could simply just slide it up and down when you're going to take a shot real quick so it just makes life a little bit easier let's talk about all the accessories on here and then i'm gonna go over my buttons and dials setups first off we gotta talk about this badass skin anyone who knows me knows i love this color green i've been painting my camera cages my cinema camera cages this is almost same exact color for the past three years why did i get the skin i just got back from a trip going to nashville i had this thing on my hip all the way through the airport everywhere i went in nashville is my first time there this thing was on me shot a concert and i was juggling those three cameras i was shooting guys on motorcycles while i'm hanging out side by sides and everything so just a lot of chaos going on usually when i shoot so having a scan just really protects it protects my purchase this protects my 1400 dollars whenever i decide to go and upgrade or if i want to sell it for something else this just really saves my ass on wear and tear really but i mean yeah look how badass this is. they have other kind of skins for it too so i'll show you guys the texture of it real quick as well it almost looks like actual paint it's kind of trippy <laughs> how uh, clean it is all right now let's talk about this thumb rest they really like knock this thing out of the part as you can see it bends back like this and what the purpose is this for is so you could go and change your shutter still and it won't get in your way that's clutch i'm very confident holding this now compared to before when you're just holding the camera um it's really hard to get like a decent grip it always feels like it's going to fall off your hand but with this thumb thing is just like you can hold this sucker height now so now that i touch on that this thing clears back here let me show you my whole setup that i have on here so pretty much at all times i have my shutter set to t this basically allows me to control my front dial you have to set this also a quick tip if you want to reset a custom button you simply just hold down the button for like three seconds and then the menu will come up and you can change it to whatever you want so but basically when i'm shooting i usually just have this at f2 because the x100v is super sharp at f2 i use this front dial to change my shutter super fast obviously th using the top one is really fun and everything but this is like my my fast kind of camera you know like someone wants a picture real quick bam personally for me this just works better especially when i'm on the bike too for my iso i actually keep the iso at 640 at all times because that gives me dynamic range 400 which really helps if you're trying to get like a like a creamy filmic look out of a shot you can overexpose it a little bit and the highlight roll off on this thing is gorgeous so it's basically in full manual mode at all times i'm not the one that shoots like aperture priority or anything like that which granted that's kind of what i'm doing again i've been shooting manual for the past 10 years so it's just kind of like brainwashed in my head to shoot that way last let me go over the camera strap that i usually use so this camera strap just uses peak designs connectors and obviously you can see I have the peak design connectors on the camera in order to get these on there you have to get a tiny screwdriver and push these little metal barrels out of the attach point so uh, just FYI if you guys do this we'll kind of have to mangle the um, connection points here but yeah this is usually the strap I'm using obviously it's super quick to attach 
it's that simple to take it back off there it goes but it's just off etsy this colorway right here just looks super cool if you think i'm pretentious for caring about the coloring and stuff so much again off we're artists we're allowed we have a license to be pretentious whatever puts you in the vibe to shoot and it's just vibes you know like can do it if it if it inspires you do it and yeah i don't think there's anything else to go over obviously you see the elephant in the room this purple filter on here i will go over that another day uh when i share some of my simulations that i've made lots of videos in the x100v this camera just really inspires me like my canon r5 is for the the money shots like the technically high detail super clean editorial campaign stuff but this is for the moments where i want to add to the story because everyone again just gets more comfortable when you have have a giant r5 with a battery grip and giant lens on it people are like this is a photo shoot when this comes up it's like oh we can relax a little bit so there's there's a lot to come for this and me so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed don't do anything stupid on motorcycles peace honestly this is very uh dangerous what i'm doing i do not recommend it i have probably a little over seventy thousand miles under my belt on a motorcycle so i am fairly comfortable on this I'll show you guys my setup right here pretty cool i already know this cat's gonna fall off eventually <laughs> should probably figure something out for that also guys to all the people that hate on camera skins can you go be too cool for something else usually when i'm on shoots and i have this i have this plus the canon r5 and my red komodo and this thing's just always around my hip at all times and then also on the motorcycle and everything this is just covering my ass if i ever plan to sell it or upgrade it or anything like that and also i spent my own money on this i don't want to get all beat up and scratched up